Hi there, this is Johnny Chambers from Microsoft's US education team and in this demo I want to run through GalSync 2010 with Outlook Live. First of all you can read all about GalSync 2010 if you go to help.outlook.com and bring up the GalSync 2010 uh, page. There's all of the information you need to install and configure GalSync is all in here. Um, there's quite a useful diagram on one of the pages that talks about what way different types of uh, objects on on-premises systems are synchronized with Outlook Live. I recommend you have a look at that. But anyway, in the meantime I'll kick off with doing a very simple demo of how Active Directory accounts are synchronized through GalSync <coughs> to Outlook Live. So let me first of all start by going to Active Directory Users and Computers. In here you can see I've got an OU called High School and I've got a bunch of accounts that I've already created and in fact synchronized with Outlook Live. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new account and then watch as uh, uh, ILM synchronizes that. So let's create a new account, new user. I'll call this account um, Barbara Chung. B. Chung. My domain, uh, my Active Directory domain is at contoso.com, but one of the things I've done in my uh, domain is I've added in a UPN suffix for at contososchool.info. Contososchool.info is um, like an alias for my Active Directory domain, and it actually ties up with the name of my email domain, contososchool.info. Uh, in creating an account like this, it basically reduces the confusion for Barbara because her Active Directory login name and her email address will now be the same. So let's create this, stick in a password. And finish. And Barbara's been created. Now I don't have Exchange in my domain. If I did, uh, Exchange uh, would automatically configure Barbara with a mailbox. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pretend she has a mailbox and uh, already and just stick in the email address here. So be chung at contoso skull info. Click OK on that. And so that's as much as I have to do with her account to, you know, obviously create it and then give her a email address. Let's go now to have a look, just a very quick look at um, ILM. So with ILM I've got two management agents set up. I've got a management agent which is set up to pull information from Active Directory. This is the on-premise management agent. I've got a second management agent called Hosted and this is the one that connects up to Outlook Live. And then the GalSync rule set, uh, running over the top of this if you like, dictates how all of this works. The management agents and the rule set is basically called from PowerShell. So I'm going to run the PowerShell script that comes with GalSync 2010 that will actually trigger the replication. It's called startsync.ps1. So I run this and although it's hard to read, it's basically connecting up to the on-premises system and pulling through any information from there. It'll then push information uh, to Outlook Live. So let's give it a second to do that. Shouldn't take too long. In the meantime, what I'll do is I'll go off and just log in to Outlook.com. I'll sign in with my admin account. Just a quick check in, see how it's going. So it's now completed. <coughs> and once I have uh, logged in here, I can check for the existence of that account.
So please excuse my slow DSL connection. If I go into Options and go into Manage My Organization, and there's the Barb Chung account that's been created. Beyond that, I've actually got PCNS or the Password Change Notification Service set up as well. And what I can do is I can reset the password here. So the scenario here might be that the administrator wants the password on the Active Directory domain for the Barbara Chung user to be the same as the password that's set on Barbara's Live ID uh, for Outlook Live. Uh, you can do that through PCNS by setting up password synchronization. So what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simulate Barbara resetting her password and then the password will synchronize with the Outlook Live Live ID service. So let's just reset our password to something new. The password's been changed. And then what I can actually do is I can verify the password has actually been synchronized properly by looking at the application log in Event Viewer. And I can see here that the, the password has been delivered to all targets for Barbara Chung. Um, so, there you have it. I've showed you how to create an Active Directory account and synchronize that through ILM with the GalSync 2010 solution installed to Outlook Live. Hope that's useful.